Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 9 of C Programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the while loop, which is basically a way of repeating something for a multiple number of times. So let's say I wanted to print something 10 times. I could get it to print, uh, like if we wanted to say hello world 10 times, that's what the while loop can do. It can print it 10 times in an easy fashion without saying this printf 10 times. So uh, it'll be much easier to understand once I actually write everything out. So in our program, we're going to get a, a while loop that runs the numbers 1 through 10, and then it will determine whether the number is even or odd. So we'll do int i, and we can use i for just incrementer. So the while loop is going to work like the, the number will increase every single time, and then when it gets to 10, or in our case, or when after 10, it's done. So um, this will make total sense in a few seconds when I actually write my while loop. Um, for now, it's hard to explain in English, but um, so basically, we're going to make while, and then here's our condition. So when, for instance, here we're going to say when i is, if i is less than or equal to 10, because we want to run numbers 1 through 10, then it will keep running the statement. So while i is less than or equal to 10, we're going to run all this code in here. And for instance, we are going to say, for our case here, we want to have the number that we're using. So we just do percent %d or percent %i for your preference, and is, and then we'll leave a space because later on we got to determine if it's even or odd. And then for our variable that we're going to use, we're going to use i, since that's uh, the variable that we're using. So basically how this is going to run is while um, i, which is a value of 1, is less than or equal to 10, it kind of works the same way as an if statement, because it's basically saying if this is true, it'll run. The while is basically saying while this is true, it will run. So that's how that works. And then by the end, we have to be able to increment this. So we're there's uh, a way of incrementing a number by one each time. And since this is so common in programming, just increment a number by one, uh, there's a way to do that. So we can just go i++. Plus plus, and that just means that um, your number that you have right now, so uh, basically we assign it one, and when it gets to this, it's going to increment it by one, so then i will now become two. And that eventually leads to getting out of the while loop. So um, I'm going to take a little shortcut here though. I have to explain a bunch of other ways that you can increment a number easily because I didn't explain this in a previous tutorial when I really should have. So there's a way that we, uh, sorry, back to that. You can do plus, mm, plus plus for incrementing a number by one and do minus minus is the same way. It'll just decrease or decrement the number by one. So um, basically if the number was uh, 10, that would just make it 9. And then lastly, there's a way to take the value of i and then add or subtract or multiply or divide a number um, from the value. So right here, we're going to say i plus equals 3. So this will take the value of i and then it will add, add this value of 3. And this is the same thing as saying i plus, oops, like this, i gets the value of i plus 3, because that would be 1 plus 3, and then i would get 4. But this is just an easier way to write it out. So we can just say i plus equals 3. So now it starts as 1 plus 3, now it's 4. And then the next time this runs, it would be 4 plus 3, and then that would be 7. You get the idea. The same thing works for minus and multiplication and division. All those work for taking this value and then doing something to it and then it stores the new value. So that'll make, uh, that makes sense hopefully. Basically take the value of i, 1, add this value, and then it gets the new value which is 4 in this case. Okay, but for our purposes we want to run numbers uh, 1 through 10. We want to run all these numbers so uh, we don't want to be skipping like through numbers. We want one, two, three, four. So we're just gonna sh I'm just gonna see how this looks here. I'm gonna open up the console and now we're gonna run it. 
and as you can see, one is blank, two is blank, three is blank, blah, 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 blah. And since we don't have a backslash n, it's not going to um, skip down lines. So we're going to leave it like that. And now we've got to determine whether the number is odd or even. So from the last tutorial, I taught you the if statement. And now this is kind of a little test on see if you really understand it. So basically, to determine if something's odd, if it has a remainder of 1, so um, if you divide a number by 2, if it goes in evenly, so if 2 divided by 2 is, if the remainder is 0, then it uh, is an even number because 2, obviously 2 divided by 2, 2 is an even number. Everybody knows 2 is an even number. So uh, since 2 mod 2, it has no remainder, and that's a way we can tell if it's even. Uh, differently, if uh, 1, if you do 1 mod 2, obviously you're going to get a, rem a remainder of 1, since 2 doesn't go into 1 evenly. So basically we can do, sorry, i mod, I'm going to do these in parentheses, i, then do mod 2, and if that is equal to 0, so as you can see we have a value of 1 to start, so 1 mod 2, that will give us a remainder of 1, it's not equal to 0, but that means it's an odd number, right? So for this one, that means it's going to be an even number. So we are going to say, oops, even. So um, here, if this value is 2, 2 mod 2 gives a remainder of 0, and that means equal to 0, 0 is equal to 0, and therefore it's an even number. And then this will be added on to our statement up here. So then it would, we'll finally say, uh, if it was 2, 2 is, and then it would say even. So now, of course, we have to have one for odds. So here we have to make printf and then odd. And we also want to make all these lines go down or return one space. So we're going to add backslash n to these. Okay, so that's pretty much that. So running through this program one last time, we have an i, integer of i, which is our incrementer, i gets a value of 1, and now we're testing here to see basically while 1, or sorry, while i is less than or equal to 10, it's going to run all this code, or it's the same as kind of like an if statement, if you can think of it that way. So while this is, uh, i is less than 10, so i has a value of 1, yes, it's less than or equal to 10, so it's going to print the value of i here, so percent %d, i is, and then uh, we're going to leave a space so we can determine whether it's even or odd. So then it jumps into this if statement right here. And as you can see, we have uh, if i, or um, so the i has a value of 1, and mod 2 will give it a value of 1 for a remainder. Just because if it's an odd number, it gets a remainder of 1 if it's divided by 2. And then they'll, it, so it'll skip this because i is not an even number, obviously. And it'll run this else, and then it'll tack on the odd. So i is, and then it'll say odd. And that's basically the end. And then at the end, of course, you have to have your i++, so that when it runs it again, now i has a value of 2. And therefore, it will eventually get to 10, and then it will end. So let's see how this works. So we'll save it, and we'll get to our console, and we'll run, and as you can see, it runs through all the numbers. 1 is odd, 2 is even, 3 is odd, 4 is even, blah 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 blah, and then it gets to 10. And as you can see, when it gets to 10, i has a value of less than or equal to 10, so that's the last one it's going to run. After it increments this, once it becomes 11, it's going to look at this and say, is i less than or equal to 10? No, because i is now 11. So this while loop is done, and it's going to just end the whole program. And that's how the while loop works. So it's uh, not too complicated. It just kind of works like an if statement. All you really have to remember, the key points in it, are just the fact that um, you have to increment it at the end. So um, somehow you have to eventually get it to be true, or else you get an infinite loop and it will run forever, and you never want that. So that's my lesson on while loops. I hope you like these tutorials. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a little comment below, or you can message me, uh, YouTube or email, whatever you want. 
And uh, yeah, if you like them, subscribe to the channel, and now you can thumbs up, apparently. I guess that's the new rating system. No more stars, so uh, thumbs up, or um, if they ever go back to stars, you can star the video, five stars. So subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, and I hope you enjoyed it. Alright, thanks.